Obama publicly announces that Americans want him for a third term and gets immediately wrecked. From the moment that Donald Trump was sworn in as the 45th president of the United States, Obama has been obsessed with bringing Trump down, even buying a house three miles from the White House to serve as a headquarter for his shadow government. He has tried on numerous occasions to take over as president, as he still craves the power and prestige that the office of the presidency fed his ego for the past eight years. If there's one thing that's even more enormous than Barack Hussein Obama's love for Muslims, terrorists, and thugs, it's his overinflated ego. It was completely impossible for Obama to give a speech without mentioning himself at least 851 times as this president made it his habit to overuse personal pronouns whenever given the opportunity. In addition to setting world records for his incredible ability to use the words I and me in a single speech, Obama was also the only president in U.S. history to own a selfie stick as the narcissist-in-chief made it no secret how much he was genuinely in love with himself. While we'd all hoped that this self-loving traitor would drive his golf cart into the sunset, (laughs) never to be seen or heard from again, that's sadly not the case. Obama is now making his re-emergence back into politics to feed his ego yet again, where he's been busy fundraising and has been zipping around the world, breaking federal law to meet with foreign diplomats in order to sabotage Trump and take back the power he once held. There he is. We've seen that picture. So it should come as no surprise that Obama is now fantasizing about a third presidential term where he's now making the ridiculous public claim that Americans want him to run again. In a recent interview with David Axelrod, he spoke about Trump's victory, quote, fantasy, cockily proclaiming that he had, that had he been the candidate to run against Trump, that he would have won a third term, hands down, CNN reported. I am confident in this vision because I'm confident that I have run again and articulated it. I think I could have mobilized a majority of the American people to rally behind it, Obama told his former senior advisor, David Axelrod, in an interview for the Axe Files podcast produced by the University of Chicago Institute of Politics and CNN. I know that in conversations that I've had with people around the country, even some people who disagreed with me, they would say the vision, the direction that you point towards is the right one, Obama said in the interview which aired Monday. But Obama's delusions of grandeur are even more ridiculous, or ludicrous I should say, than his wife's fashion sense, as he'd soon learn, given the former president's brazen claim, we here at Freedom Daily decided to ask ordinary Americans if they do in fact want Obama for a third term, and the responses were beyond hilarious. He's absolutely right, the third term should be 20 years to life in Gitmo. I would rather gouge my eyes out with a Taco Bell spork covered in the contents of a Taco Bell restroom at a truck stop and proceed to blank myself with a cactus than see that socialist turd get a third term. He can get lost or kiss my blank garbage along with all involved for nine years. I would rather have herpes, poison oak, crabs, 
smash my finger with a hammer, have lunch with the Antichrist, move into my parents' house and kiss a liberal, I think he needs a life term. <laughs> oh, unbelievable. He is back to smoking crack. Those are not Americans that want him for a third term. They are terrorists, drug dealers, thugs, illegal aliens, and liberal snowflakes. We all knew what was going to happen the first four years. Then we had a fixed election for the next four years. A third term? Hell no. Obama had a dream to be the Saudi puppet. <laughs> so true, right? Your puppet master, along with his minions, lied to you. We the people want nothing, and I mean nothing, to do with you. Obama pulls another bullcrap Americans want statement out of his butt. He must have founded Vanity Magazine laughter. Obama needs to stop smoking crack in his dressing room. Just threw up in my mouth. Obama is a, as delusional as the rest of the left. Eight years under the rule of a communist dictatorship is enough. The only jobs he created were for his comrades. It took six months and still Trump is pulling weeds planted by Obama. His health care plan is a disaster. There is nothing affordable about paying five times as much for less coverage than you had before. Gitmo, waterboard, repeat, rejoice, change, we can believe in, change our country needs. Obama is delusional and charismatic. His followers all exhibit a mental disorder known as liberalism with a side diagnosis of communism and socialism. No known cure at this time. Research is being done by tying liberals to a chair and forced to watch Fox, One America News, and Captain Kangaroo. He is actively trying to foment a revolution in this nation in order to get the New World Order, United Nations, involved. He truly needs to be put into some kind of confinement with no external communication of any kind allowed. Give it up, Obama. No one except for the vast fan base of thugs, terrorists, illegals, and liberal snowflakes would ever conceive of such a notion of voting for you, of voting you in for another term. And oh, and this woman, your die-hard supporter, who eats Fruit Loop cereal out of a bathtub. <laughs> what about you? Would you want Obama for a third term? Let us know in the comments below. I haven't seen that picture, but this is hilarious. She put in the bath. This is actually disgusting, actually, but funny at the same time. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.